Hey guys, Tony the Truck Guy. Gonna show you today how to replace your factory cubby holder with integrated brake controller. First, you need to remove that panel and this panel. Remove weather stripping to do so. Simply grab and pull. And then grab right here. Pull outwards. You might have to use some sort of a screwdriver to pry it out. Try not to mess up the panels here. <clears throat> There's that one. And as you can see, bolt right here that holds it in. Now, I guess I lied to you, you don't need to remove this panel. But you do need to pull this one off. That's held on by Phillips head there and there. And then you simply grab here and pull down. Now that the screws are out, we're gonna pull the panel to get it off. Oh. It's gonna feel like it's gonna break, but it won't. Now a lot of, tr a lot of trucks that didn't come with the controller will have this little gray four prong plug It'll actually be taped up right around here somewhere underneath. You'll have to untape it. Now that's one plug, but if you'll notice, brake controller has two plugs. So I purchased this four prong plug off eBay from a guy. Um, four prong, but there's only three wires. And you see you gotta splice into your ignition control module here, which is kind of a pain because you don't have a lot of wiring here. But, um, you go, this green, or white wire with the green stripe goes to white with green stripe. The pink, splice into the pink with the white stripe. And the blue with white stripe goes to the white with the blue stripe. Once you've got that, and you uh, pinch, uh, your little power here it should light up with the key on if you if it's not lighting up you got something hooked up wrong now as you can see factory cubby hole has a screw here that should be this one this torx screw um, the trailer controller doesn't bolt to that so you gotta remove that screw and then the side one which goes right there to get this out also, just a quick note, the screws are a T20 Torx bit. Part number for the charcoal colored shroud is 1EB13TRMAA. If you have the tannish beige one, sorry, you can't help you there, you'll have to look that one up. Part number for the brake controller should be 560-294-31AM. So here's the integrated brake controller, OEM Mopar part, pretty much flush mount as you can see there. Uh, turn the key on for you. Right there, you can change your gain. Goes all the way up to 10 all the way down to zero if you want. Um, and then when you hook up to a trailer that actually has electronic trailer brakes and you hit the brake pedal, this will actually always be displayed. And then if you uh, have it programmed to your EVIT cluster, that'll also show you information about the trailer brake controller. Then you just reinstall your panel. Reinstall your bottom screws. Reinstall side panel.
and then just push your weather stripping back on and you're done.